officers were there. Uh, the individual actually drove by. He drove up into the driveway at that time, um, had a pistol in his hand. Uh, he had it out of the window. Uh, officers engaged him. Uh, he dropped the uh, firearm uh, and was arrested without incident from there. The suspect in a deadly Louisiana shooting spree is in custody in Virginia tonight. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Kristen Pierce. 21 year old Dakota Terrio was arrested this morning outside of his grandmother's home in Richmond County. Officials there say after hearing her grandson was wanted for the deaths of five people in Livingston and Ascension parishes, Terrio's grandmother checked herself into a hotel and told police to watch her home. Tonight we have team coverage from both Louisiana parishes. We begin tonight with Jade Cunningham, who has been in Livingston Parish this evening. That's where police say Terrio killed his girlfriend along with her father and younger brother. Jade. Well, Kristen, people here in this area are still trying to process the last 36 hours or so. Of course, many are saddened. Uh, they are in shock and they are in complete disbelief that something like this took place uh, in this community and in the neighboring parish. Now, it all started in Livingston when 21-year-old Dakota Terrio shot and killed his girlfriend, uh, as Kristen just mentioned, her brother and her dad as well. It took place yesterday morning. Uh, there were also two young children at the home at the time, but they were unharmed. And they went to a neighbor for help. Uh, Terrio then went to Ascension Parish where he killed his mom and dad. Our partners at WBRZ spoke with the girlfriend's grandmother, who obviously is heartbroken about this entire situation. It's hard enough to lose a child, but when you lose your grandchildren too, you have to bury three at one time. It's for something so senseless. He sure wasn't worth it, I can tell you. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, he will have his day at the white, great white throne judgment. God will be his judge. Well, we will have much more of this story coming up tonight at 10. We spoke with some neighbors, so you'll hear from them and their reaction. We also hear from the girlfriend's mother. For now, reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. A devastating story. Thank you, Jade. Our team coverage of this murder spree continues with Paul Dudley. He talked to neighbors of Dakota Terrio's parents in Ascension Parish. Many say they are still coming to terms with how this kind of crime could happen in the first place. Neighbors along this quiet Gonzales Street still can't believe the gruesome news. Total shock. We just don't have that happening. Authorities say 21-year-old Dakota Terrio shot his parents, Keith and Elizabeth Terrio, at this home on Church Point Road on Saturday morning. Faye Cowan says her neighbors were quiet. She was surprised and saddened to learn what happened. I've, I've lived here 40 years and uh, raised my children and my grandchildren here, and we just don't have that. They played with their daughter several years ago. Uh, my children did. Before coming to his parents' Gonzalez home, officials say Dakota Terrio shot and killed three others in Livingston Parish. His 20-year-old girlfriend, Summer Ernest, her brother and father, all dead. I was just shocked. Shocked to hear that someone can just kill, I think it was his girlfriend and his parents and all of them siblings and all that. It's just crazy. It blows my mind. Shortly after this crime happened, neighbors say the deputies showed up in full force. They even had a helicopter searching from the sky for this suspect. Less than 24 hours later, Dakota Terrio was arrested in Virginia. I am glad he's captured because who knows what else he'll do. Those people don't need to be out in the neighborhood. Neighbors here relieved to learn a suspect is behind bars. They say they are now just praying for the family of the victims. Just our prayers go out for our country and our neighborhood and around our house. It's it's unreal. It's unbelievable. In Gonzales, Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. At the time of the crimes, officials say Dakota Terrio lived with the Ernest family. At one point, he did live with his parents in Gonzales, but was recently told to leave because of constant disagreements. A motive for this deadly shooting spree is unknown.